Move the satellite into position. Look, buddy, I already told you there's no transmission coming from the moon. No time for technicalities, buddy. It's time for a little black magic. Meet an enemy, Donal Figaro! It's not Paros Diasis, Igati! Silly. Why are we baking cakes again? And why aren't the girls here for this? Halloween is a time of offerings. We give candies and cakes to ghosts and goblins to appease them. <laughs> you believe all that witchy stuff? Yeah! Oh my! Atlanta, call the others. Hermes, inform Hera. Guys, drop whatever you're doing. Gladly. <sighs> okay, what's the big fuss? This is messing with my beauty sleep. Ooh. Oh, way to accessorize, Teresa. Can I go back to sleep now? Neil, take a seat. So the owl came through the movie screen. Mm -hmm. This owl belongs to someone who's been exiled on the moon for centuries. It's Hecate's owl, I'm sure of it. Hecate? The goddess of witchcraft? The very same. I take it she's not a good witch. What's it want with Teresa? I believe it's attracted to Teresa's sixth sense. <sighs> the only thing I'm sensing right now are its talons digging in my shoulder. <sighs> there it is. It's right there. See it? See it? Yes, thank you, Hermes. I see it. Hera, it must be after Hecate's torches. <gasps> What are these torches you mentioned? Hecate used the torches to guide souls to the underworld, but the power went to her head, and soon she became known as the goddess of the dead. Her deeds were so wicked that she was banished from the underworld. Wow, banished from the underworld for being wicked? That's harsh. What did she do? She opened a passage between the past and present, allowing the undead to plague the land of the living. Odie, do you think the movie theater could be some sort of portal? After seeing that owl, I'm inclined to believe anything. Let's see what we can dig up. Happy Halloween! Love, Cronus! Ugh, I forgot, it's Halloween tomorrow. Who cares? You should worry about how Cronus found your email address. Well, I suppose Hermes at Mount Olympus isn't the toughest nut to crack. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what I'm worried about is that the new moon is on All Hallows' Eve, which it hasn't been for eons. The veil between worlds will be the thinnest it has been since Hecate was exiled. Okay, I'm on this. Kona sent the email from a satellite network in the Fibercon Valley. DS Magic Solutions. Case cracked wide open. Really? That was easy. Yeah, it's almost too easy. The network Cronus is connected to makes micro-mirror devices. They encrypt in black magic text. Using a three-channel crosstalk frequency and transmission modeling, they can... Okay, okay, okay. I may be the god of communication, Odie, but I just figured out how to drag and drop. Go easy on me. Teresa, it's time you learned a little bit more about your gift. Magic lessons? I have to wrestle lions and she gets to play with rabbits and magic wands? Magic can be a thousand times more fierce than any lion. Huh? Teresa, that book of incantations will help you. But it is the power of these torches that will make you strong enough to stand up to Hecate. And that's it? That's your magic trick? Pulling an owl out of the moon? <laughs> so as not to draw attention, you will carry on as usual until the stroke of midnight tomorrow. What? You've got some loony message you want to broadcast over the planet warning them of your takeover? We've had your kind in here before. <sighs> you exhaust me with your insolence. I expect a third party will tap into our satellite connection at midnight. When they do, we'll summon the keeper of the crossroads and all of her lovely friends for a visit. <laughs> oh, I'm going to the motherboard. Sorry, Hermes, but my computer is just a lot more, well, powerful. Don't let the power get to your head, Odie. Remember, power corrupts and more power corrupts more. Hera, can I help with anything? <laughs> yes, we can stop that owl. Concentrate, Teresa. You're doing much better than I anticipated. <laughs> it's okay. Just concentrate. <gasps> My. I don't think the goddess of witchcraft herself was this good when I first met her. Really? <laughs> Teresa! Okay, but I haven't really gotten the flying thing down. Intercept the torch at the place where the three roads meet. I think we know where to find that. The Tri Avenue Movie House. Guys, Cronus is behind this. He's packed directly into that digital theater. Tomorrow night, well, tonight, at the stroke of midnight, he's going to summon Hecate. And if he does, she'll awaken the dead. And there are many more of them than there are of the living. I can hack into that satellite network in no time and stop him. Okay, we'll go to the movie theater and get the torch. Neil, you take care of Archie. No, Jay, not him. Please, I'm in enough pain already. I, I like the movies. How come I can't go to the movies? Ugh. Jay, you should stay and take care of Archie, and you're the best one to help Odie. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay, but if there's anything, I'm there in a heartbeat. Time is counting the, uh, what are these, nanoseconds? Yes. Time is counting the nanoseconds. Yes, I like that. And in just a few minutes, a plague of death and lunacy will be upon us. Nut bar. Oh, not a nut bar. Not a nut bar. <laughs> 
Where'd you find this guy anyway? The fire swamp, the pit of despair? You really are a cheeky little computer nerd, aren't you? I think I'm even starting to like you. Tape his mouth shut. I really appreciate you hanging back. Who wants cake? Hi, yeah, yeah. What's with you and Halloween? I can't resist the treats. All witches like cake, you know. Want some? Uh, no, thanks. Okay, I'll just leave it in here in case you change your minds. Uh, I can't help but think I should have gone with the girls. I'm worried about Teresa. You always do what's best for the team, Jay. Don't doubt yourself. Odie, what are these? They're jerry-rigged video game gloves. They have electromagnetic sensors that interact with virtual images. I gave a pair to Harry. I thought they might work on that owl. Okay, guys, it's almost time for the midnight show. And I'm just about through the optical encryption of the digital broadband transmission coming from the satellite network. We'll take your way too many technical words for it. There, we're in. Come on, it starts in a few minutes. <laughs> you can battle ancient beasts, but you're scared of a kid in a costume? I don't like zombies. I'm not much for the ancient beasts either, actually. Zombies have diseases. Huh? Dead things, you know, they carry diseases. Huh? Now, why didn't you tell me our guests have arrived? Because my mouth was taped shut. Mm, yes, right. Bring the satellite online. The crossroads are now complete. It's time for the resurrection. Meet an enemy to Skolos. What's he saying, anyway? <sighs> it's all Greek to me. Steve Rotida Don Sion. Itini. Naporos Diasis. Ekati! Ah, I forgot to get popcorn. Oh, get me some too. No butter. And no salt. Can you get popcorn without salt? Better give me a bottle of water, just in case. Not the best time for this, guys. Jay, Odie, we're ready. Okay. When the owl enters the screen, I'll shut down the feed and trap it and Hecate in the fourth dimension. But then Hecate will have a torch. That's right. So you have to get the torch from the owl, then send it through the screen. Then I'll shut it down. Easy as pie. Yeah, easy. Here we go. Oh, an art film. Boring! <laughs> there he is! Let's go! Leti thinani tiskalis gulis sethes mebo! Teresa! Oh, I can't stand this. I need to know what's going on. Odie, can't you hack into the theater surveillance cameras? Jay, your random acts of intelligence never cease to amaze me. Uh, 
Oh, you gotta be kidding! I hate zombies! Okay, time to be a hero. <laughs> nice of you to join us, Neil. <laughs> Big old house dropped on you. to be in the movies. Here's your big break. Yeah, well, when I said I wanted to be in the movies, I didn't mean it literally. <laughs> Open the connection to the theater, unless you want them to come through that screen. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Perfect. Happy Halloween, Jay. Hmm, let's see. Can they battle a legion of the undead, defeat Hecate, and save their friend? Yes! I don't think so. Hey! Okay, Atlanta, look out! Uh, Archie? Why did I have to buy a widescreen monitor? Let's go! Ah, zapping away all the zombies really makes you feel... alive. Huh? Uh, guys? Ah, there must be too much digital interference. Look! <laughs> Tell me, Teresa, do you think the land of the living is ready to receive all of their long-lost relatives? What's happening here? Hecate has Teresa. Hecate? Oh, no. Nobody tells me anything. Odie, obviously this is a portal to the crossroads. Uh, yeah. I'd say so. I'm going in. Wait, Jay. When I said all witches like cake, I wasn't kidding. In the old days, cake was offered to Hecate where three roads meet to appease her. Cake? You're joking. Come on, Jay. Tell me you're gonna put a killer surprise in there. Now that we've gone digital, I think our weapons will work on her. Yeah, well, if I had a weapon... are strong. Suddenly, I feel even more gorgeous and fabulous and powerful than ever. Oh, yeah! I have found my weapon, baby. Are you okay? I've been better. <sighs> it's impossible. I can't get free. Hey, let me try. Hocus pocus, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Get out of Thanks, guys. Jay! You brought a cake? Oh, how thoughtful. I didn't think it was my birthday, but now that I think about it, it sure feels like it. 
I hope there's a killer surprise in there. Yeah, no. So nice of you to pay your respects, but I'm gonna save that for later. Teresa, do something. I've tried all that I've got. <laughs> and you don't got much, darling. I knew the dainty little rich girl would give up easy, but how easy? What did you say? <laughs> I said you were a weak little girl with no guts and beating you was easy. <laughs> no, I meant the part about giving up. This is too painful to watch. Did you do that? No. Talk about spellbinding television. Nice work. Okay, guys, I'm shutting it down. And one last thing. Happy Halloween, love, Odie. Yeah. <laughs>